unorthodox. I know Dill was ready to come into this to try to win like the final Xeno to at least be like one win away from winning the most Xenos. But unfortunately, the title's already been granted to the kill stage. He missed it by two. If he wins this one, then by one. <laughs> as, as a big kill stage fan, this makes me pleased. You can't, you can't take that away from him. Yeah. He will forever be sick, man. He's actually there in the background, hovering over Dill, watching the match. <laughs> it's great. It's nice. like a spirit in waiting. So this matchup's gonna go a lot of ways, right? Because uh, Dill's entire game plan is that he wants to get that banana peel, he wants to get on the stage and just mess with Cloud. Get Cloud off stage as fast as possible. You just do some extra damage to him, make sure he does not get back. Now, Ralphie right there played a really, did a really good job of like guarding that banana. Prevented Dill from trying to jump into the fray, get it back, and start playing all, all his monkey business. Yeah, these two guys have played each other time and time and time again. In fact, Dill, one of the players who really is the reason why Ralphie was able to make such an explosive growth in the New York City. They are father and son. That is true. And I feel like no better than these two are like how well they know each other's habits. They know what they they know the game plan of their characters. They know the game plan of the players. They know the habits well. They know what they're gonna do with each stage. So there's very few uncertainties when it comes to the factors in this match. It really comes down to execution and then, you know, the ever present X factor of Smash 4. There he goes, landing down with that back air, trying to sit now. Cloud likes to play around the opponent's shields, right? Because he's just really good at breaking the shields. Doesn't even matter, go for it. Just goes for the cross touch because he knows a forward air is coming his way just to get Dill off of him. Nice catch on that ledge jump with a back air, gonna send him to the blast zone. First stock going to Dill or Ralphie. And immediately retreating to the platforms, trying to get some limit charged up. Ralphie, in no particular rush to approach, but with limit on that, he's able to get around there if he can get himself back to the stage, which he's not going to be able to he do. He burned his limit trying to challenge Dill. Maybe he went for like a cross slash or something, but it was just a hair too late. Dill snuffed that out completely with a forward end. Now we have ourselves a one-stock match, and Ralphie's doing a great job of just jumping off of those platforms, charging limit, using those platforms to his advantage because Ralphie's... He's got the high ground, you know? That's what Obi-Wan Kenobi told me, is that if you got the high ground, you can't win. And now the platforms are gone, and now Dill suddenly getting some momentum, gaining some steam. Now, let us hope that unlike Obi-Wan, Ralphie doesn't disappear into a pile of ropes. Um, I can't really see this, like, I can't see there being too much of a swing in the momentum here. Ralphie has been doing a good job of staying evasive, like you mentioned, but Dill's been very patient. Every time he loses the banana, he's like, all right, I'll just get it again. I just need to wait. And he's even baiting Ralphie to pick up the banana, and then he just gets to punish for him for picking it up. And I feel like that goes in with the factor that like they know each other's habits. They're going to play around that. So they're both going to do unconventional things that normally you know, wouldn't work if you try to just play the cloud matchup or the Diddy Kong matchup. You really have to play into what the player's habits are. Okay, Ra playing super patient. Ralphie staying calm, waiting for Dill to make the first move. He has the banana peel, so he has to respect it. There's a back edge guard opportunity. No, good, great spacing coming out from Ralphie. Dill doing a lot of retreating aerials, just trying to stay away from that sword. Just goes for the raw monkey flip. Just command grab in the middle of neutral. It's a good observation from Dill, just because he realizes that Ralphie's been moving uh, with shields like very often, but he's not sticking around in the shield. So of course the best way to check that is to throw out a quick grab, but you can't be throwing around grabs when really you know, against Cloud or else you're expecting your stock to get blown up. Just like it did right there, Ralphie going in, because he I don't know if he thought that dash stack was gonna kill right there, but he was just throwing it up because he knew Dill was gonna go for a monkey flip or go for an aggressive option really quick, like a burst option to get back onto the stage. But there was a meaty fusion swords waiting for him, and that's gonna be game number one going to Ralphie. When Dill had I, I would want to say Dill had a lot of the momentum that entire game, but then Ralphie just kind of took it back. Took it, took it from the the horns, you know? Dill looks deflated. Do, do we have an air pump in the venue? Does he? Is it, I think you think his shirt's a little, little big? I think the shirt's a little big. I think his shirt's a little big. I think he, he's sticking it's around. It's cold outside, man. Let him, let him, let him be warm. I guess, but... It is brick outside. Yeah, it's like half brick. It's like tolerable. I can only barely see my breath. Fair. No, you got me there. All right, here we go. Back to town and city. Dill wants that run back. Because this stage honestly benefits both characters. Not only do they have the small blast zones, obviously, they have the platforms for Ralph to jump off of when the platforms go away, it turns into a good stage for Dill with the FD. So it's like a, it's, it's kind of like a stage warp, honestly, when you think about it. 
It's it's hilarious because this stage, I would say, takes a lot of the extremes of the legal stages in Smash 4, and it sort of melds them into one coherent beast. And now on top of that, it also has quite a few of its own quirks. The fact that it has small blast zones means stocks are earning relatively earlier. Uh, the platforms can have a hand in ending someone's life a little bit earlier, as me and Rick brought up early, uh, earlier in the stream. And just like you mentioned, the fact that it is morphing throughout the, the stage leads to a very interesting dynamic to who can control the stage and how. Good deal. Gets the down tilt. Misses the forward smash as the follow-up. Like was a little bit too angry. He actually that. connected a finishing touch. That was a great call out coming from Ralphie. Recognizing that the air dog is gonna fall right into the platform. Had the down be ready to go, killing him at 75%. You know, I was going to see how long I can go without mentioning that Ralphie usually doesn't get those, but he's been he, proving he, he me wrong lately. It. He got it. Dude, like, I mean, if you're going to do him the last one, might as well do it. That could very well be the last time he's got to use it. And Ralphie's sitting at 150%, literally a down tilt away from death. Heck, a grab could kill him. Yeah. Banana peel as well. Banana peel could easily confirm into a down tilt or an up smash. Just gonna throw that banana peel upwards just to get Ralphie off that platform. At this point, Dill could just be patient, wait for the platforms to go away, forcing Ralphie to get back down on the stage. But he wants to go to that stock now. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Dill can afford to let the clock burn any more than he really needs to. Uh, mind you, I, I'm not expecting a time. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's only been two minutes. But he confirmed that into a ledge attack. Okay. Okay, Ralphie's going back to those platforms. Trying to charge some limit. The pressure. Nice. Definitely Good knows problem. about the confirms off the field. Of course, this is going into another topic I brought up earlier, where it's like you fight any item character, any of them, be they Mega Man, Diddy Kong, even Bowser Jr. You have to be aware of what your character can do with those items, and assuming you're using it against the spawner. But yep. Dill knows what he can do with the banana. He can get his confirms. Yeah, Dill. Oh, he's, he's sitting kind of bleeding. Yeah, the thing is, Dill confirmed that kill at like 180%, a little bit too much damage. So now Ralphie's pretty much going to get his limit here. Dill's got to make a move. Ralphie's got the advantage in terms of set score. Just literally like one up air away from setting him up for greatness. Trying to dodge man appeal, picks it back up. Great item play coming from Ralph. He's just so aware of what Banana can do to turn the tides of this match. Like, Ralphie's sitting on a fairly hefty lead. But Dill can turn that around very quickly, especially given the percentages that are on board. 89 is not too terrible for Dill, and he's not having any issue with getting in his hits here and there. Okay, playing patient again. It's He does have time. There's plenty of time this time around, obviously. He can just wait for the platforms to go away. There's no reason for him to approach. Feels good. Look, look what happened. The second he approached him, got, him, got a little bit antsy with that dash grab. Good spacing from Ralphie. Gets the trump into a back air, and Ralphie's going to take Dill out of the bracket. Moves on to loser semis. And that's going to be Dill's Smash 4 career. He's dying it out. I don't believe that's fifth place fifth tonight. Fifth place. All right. Uh, but you know what? We, we got to talk about the highs for Dill. Like, my man has won how many Xenos in the past, like, three months? Like, has to be at least 10. Like that, we that, had to rename a, a month after. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he lost like three Xenos in the past few months. Like he's won back to back Xenos, so that's like you gotta give him like a round of applause for that. Absolutely. So, like, at the end of the day, if we had like a PR going for like this last, uh, do we have a PR going for this, Devin, for the last section of Smash Four? Hangman is right next to you. I Are you in charge of that? Yes. 